So welcome back to Ears First. And here we are tonight at Citricos, located at the Grand Floridian Hotel. Uh, this is a signature dining, so it'll be a two table service if you're on the dining plan. Uh, I already took a look at the menu. It looks really good, cannot wait. So join us and we'll have a look around, show you what it's all about and let you know how it is. All right, so give you a quick look at the menu. I'm thinking about trying to export Porter House. Turn up the lighting a little bit for you. There we go. And our place setting looks really nice here. Very wheelchair accessible. They pulled a chair out for me and I brought, was able to bring the wheelchair right in. Which is nice. There's Pamela. <laughs> and she might actually take you for a walk around a little bit later to show you how things are going and what it looks like in here. So we got our bread and we placed our order. Uh, he said it's a whole wheat bread. Kalamata and olive in a whole wheat. Mm. Made in house. Yep, he said it made fresh every day, so we're going to try these out and wait for our appetizers. Alright, so for the appetizer, I got the Key, Le Key West lime shrimp. It's really good. See if that helps. Right about there, maybe. It's actually fogging up the lens a little bit and holding it up in front. Yeah. We'll hand this off to P1, she can show you hers. Okay, so I got the Citricos Cheese Board. Uh, they give you a little pamphlet with information on what's what. So, um, here we got, this is a cream brie out of California, here. Uh, then to the left corner is a Humboldt Fo goat cheese, also from California. This corner is a cheddar. Uh, the cheddar's from Vermont. And then have a blue cheese from France and their France blue cheese and in the center here it's a blueberry compote and on top of that is a lemon sage cake that's included so looks really good and then there are some uh, like toast pieces mm -hmm. for sure show them the list too if you haven't already yeah so you see the green brie the goat cheese the cheddar cheese and the blue cheese. And I gotta say, the shrimp is awesome. <laughs> the shrimp is awesome. And you're out of focus. Really there you go. All right, so we got our entrees. I've got the porterhouse pork chop. It is a um, pork porterhouse with the chard and the roasted potatoes. Presentation is really nice. I got some baked apples with it as well, and there's one on top. And Pamela. What did you get? I got the yellowtail red snapper. It's got microgreens. It's a jasmine rice with scallops and um, clams. Looks really good. It does. Oh, dig in. Going down to our desserts now. I'm going for the key lime pie, and I bet Pamela's going to go for the tiramisu because I know how she is. Pamela does love tiramisu. Yes, she does. And I haven't had tiramisu at Disney. You haven't? No. Nah. Weird. That's true. So, I'll have that. Go from there. Alrighty, dessert is here. There is my key lime tart. Or key lime pie, I should say. The tart is at Olivia's if you want to try that. That's really good. A little bit of sorbet and little sauces, strawberries. And here is Pamela's. My tiramisu. That is really good presentation. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> All right. Gotta give you close-ups of the food. It looks really good. The damage has been done. Remember, this we're on the dining plan. So, uh, this is not what some would pay out of pocket. And that is not even close to the worst we've done. So, uh, our acoustics was a lot higher than that, but uh, this is a signature dining on the dining plan, so it's two table services per person. 
but there's your amount due right there. That's appetizer, entree, and dessert. All right, so we're on our way out, and I'll give you a quick look around as we go. Take care. Really nice atmosphere, very quiet tonight. So, there it is. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, so um, the food was really good. Uh, I don't think there was much I didn't like about it. The key lime shrimp, I probably wouldn't order again, but it was still really good, enough that I would want to eat it. And Pamela's coming over because she wants to check out the Victoria and Albert's menu, which I can't blame her. <laughs> so. so yeah, I, I don't think I would order the shrimp again but it was still good i'm not saying it was bad just not what i would order well it was like key west but i don't know if there was anything really key west yeah key west yeah it was like an olive sauce that went on it but so instead of looking at my ugly mug we'll give you a look at the grand floridian as we uh, i'll finish this up um my entree the pork porterhouse phenomenal pamela how, how was yours? How was your dinner? It was good. Um, the rice was really good. So I had the, what did I have? I had the uh, yellowtail red snapper with the clams and scallops. And they were really good scallops, tiny ones. And it came with a bed of just jasmine rice. And the rice was really good. They used on the rice. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're passing, um, what is it, Ma is Meisner's right now? Yeah, Meisner's. Yeah, so it's a little loud, sorry. Um, so, yeah, mine was good. I tried a bit of hers. It was good as well. And the desserts were killer. <laughs> Both of them were. Uh, the key lime uh, pie that I had was really, really good. So, we're gonna... The tiramisu was probably some of the best tiramisu I've ever had. <laughs> it's your weakness. I love tiramisu. Oh, um, but yeah, Citra Coast, uh, the only, the only uh, complaint I might have about it, the whole thing was the service at first seemed kind of lousy as much as we're paying for it. The, I don't know what it was it, for us though. It just seemed like the waiter was paying more attention to everybody else except for us. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't the most fanciest dressed person in there for him. I, who knows? Maybe he's just having a bad start to our dining so he did seem to have a very standoffish demeanor and he was definitely more talkative with other people but he kind yeah. of warmed up towards the end yeah but he was also quicker with the other tables so yes. I, that i don't get and we're not going to name drop or anything like that so um that, i think it was just a one-time experience that way so but uh when it comes to signature dining i would have to say the food Phenomenal, give it a try. Definitely worth it. Um, the whole experience, and I guess this is about typical for all of our signature dining, is expect to be in there about an hour and a half. Uh, I would say that's pretty typical. <laughs> Pamela wanted to go visit Summer and Lace, the uh, little women's shop downstairs, but they close at 10, just so you know. <laughs> it says so on the door, she just didn't pay attention. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting we got there at 8.30. Yeah. I didn't realize, but I mean, but, I should have. Yeah. So, Citra Coast, give it a try if you're looking for Signature Dining. Um, it, it's, the food is great. It really is. It's right there with Victorian Alberts, and I actually think they share the same kitchen. They, they might have different chefs, but they do share the same kitchen. Cause I wouldn't say Citra Coast is in my top three, though. No. I definitely would go to Yachtsman again before I go back to Citra Coast. Yeah. As it seems, I have to say, it's not and yes. As my top three. Yep, no doubt. So, yeah. How are you? Sorry about that. I had to cut that off for a second. Um, so, yeah, definitely give it a try. Not in our top three. It could be in your top number one. So, uh, again, it's very accessible wheelchair wise. So, 
Uh, again, thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And oh, what? One other thing. I'm fairly certain because of where the restaurant is, and it's on the second floor at the Grand Floridian, that if you got a table near the window, you'd be able to see the fireworks and magic in them. You think so? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. I don't know for certain. Something to look into. And I wouldn't doubt it because you got a really good view from Narcoosie's in there as well. But, um,. Again, uh, like I said, like, share, subscribe, comments, suggestions, questions, please leave below. And I guess that's all. Yeah, it's kind of bumpy. Sorry. Yeah. Quick. Bouncing all over the place. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, we hope to see you again real soon.